Thanks for joining me, guys, again today. Um, you know, don't forget to click that subscribe button. It helps me out. Helps me continue to create that better, better content for you guys. If you have not watched how to uh, make this cut off your carp, go ahead and click on the link uh, that I'll go ahead and post. And uh, let's get started. So we've got this done. And what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, make the actual cleaning from skin. And let me grab my knife. So since we don't really need this no more, go ahead and cut that off of there. So it's nice to keep that little handhold. And I'll go ahead and cut this down. And that other and there we go. Now you can scale these guys if you want to, you don't have to. Uh, I did not on uh, one half, so it don't matter. Now I don't have a flexible knife, at least not very flexible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this guy right on the edge of the wood. Just going to move that so you guys can see. Right there, looks good. And I'm going to go ahead and work my way down. Let's move that just a little bit more. I'm going to work my way down the fish. Not worried about cleaning the bloodline up yet, obviously. I just want to remove the meat from the skin. So, as you're working down, just a nice short sawing motion usually does the trick. If you have a nice sharp knife uh, it works even better but okay one fillet done just like that there we go let's clean that off real quick You can keep the skin if you uh, fish for catfish. I opted not to keep the carcass this time. On a uh, larger one, I most definitely will. But uh, this time I did not. So, loss on my part there. So what you want to do is you want to make your little initial cut so that you have a finger hold. And then you're going to work your way down the fish. Nice quick sawing motions gets the job done. Keep it tight so that you don't end up picking up too much of that skin at the bottom. And I'm already still going to pick up some skin. Lays down. None more to go. It was a slow fishing day. Now, like I said in the last video, if you guys want to see how to uh, remove the pin bones, let me know in the comments section below. But in this one, I'm going to show you guys how to clean up the bloodline so that you have as little as possible. I know for a lot of people that, that kills the, uh, the meat 
uh, depending on where you catch them, you do want to do a bomb job, but uh, to be honest, out of Utah Lake, it's not too bad. So you're just going to go ahead and put it straight off to the side, work your way down. It's like you're just taking off the very top layer. I know you guys have seen me doing all sorts of cooking and, and recipes with the carp. This is how I clean my clean my fish. Okay. A little thin piece. I don't really worry about too much, but come down at a, a little angle. So you don't cut off too much of the, you know, the pink meat. You're gonna go ahead and make your cuts. You want to remove as little as possible. So just go ahead and cut through, just like that. There we go. Now, like I said, this little piece of bloodline isn't that big of a deal, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out real quick. As you guys can see, very sharp angle. There you go. Fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and clean up this other one. That's how you guys do it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Again, don't forget to click subscribe. I'll go ahead and keep putting out this quality content for you. And if you guys want, uh, let me know in the comments section if you want to see how to remove those lateral bones, and I'll go ahead and do that video as well. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.